Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to use the group by clause in SQL. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to use the group by clause in SQL. Now, before we execute the actual code, let's take a quick peek on the syntax that we will be using today. Now the syntax is completely similar to the regular syntax that we usually use. It will have the select keyword parameters that you want to print in your table, the from keyword and the table name which you are trying to access. The only difference is you will have a new keyword that is the group by keyword and based on a certain parameter. Right, now we would get back to the practical mode that is the MySQL workbench to understand the practicality of group by clause in a much better way. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now we are on our SQL workbench. Now let's get access to our Simply Learn database. There you go. Now let's quickly take the look at the tables we have. We have two different tables. Now let's get access to our employee table. Now we have all the employee numbers, employee names, department, designation, salary, etc. Right? Let's say you wanted to know the average salary of all the employees. Right? So that would be select, that is the AVG, average function of salary, close the bracket, from EMPLOYEE. -E. Right? Let's execute this. There you go. Now you have the average salary of the entire office. But what happens when your manager asks you to find the average of each and every department, average salary of the employees in each and every department? How would you do that? Right. Every organization has multiple departments, HR, development, testing, etc, etc. Right. Now your manager wants the individual department's average salary. Then you can use this particular clause which says group by department so the entire table will be categorized based on the departments and it will be grouped on the basis of the department and i'm also using the order by here which we will discuss in the next session but to give you a brief understanding of why we're using order by let's say your manager asks you to find the department which has the highest average salary right then you will be ordering the tables or ordering the rows based on the descending order of the salary now let's quickly execute this query and see the output there you go the query got successfully executed and we have the average salary of each and every department choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1000 plus hours of video content for free visit skill up by simply learn click on the link in the description to know more and with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to use group by clause in SQL. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we used, then do let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe, and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.